that was a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to declutter that much from this pantry. Look at that, I'm already tossing things out like madness, man. Woo wee. Hi, I'm Dee from D La B Life and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to continue on with the Summer Declutter 2021. And I still have lots of decluttering to do. It's like never ending. Never. In this episode, I am going to tackle my pantry. I haven't decluttered my pantry for Let's just say it's been a while. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I probably haven't decluttered my pantry in about a year. My bad. But today is the day, so let's get started. It is really deep in the back. I wish I had a beautiful walk-in pantry like you see on HGTV yeah this ain't, this ain't it <laughs> just warning you usually on the top I like to store all of our canned goods some of it I have in an extra storage towards the garage here is usually our cereal crackers and like spam extra rice and so forth my rice and my oatmeal so right here is like my oils my baking supplies there spray and over here is like in my pastas, way back there. My package mix and all that and some more of the pasta. Down here is like all of the storage, which yeah, that needs to be reorganized. It could definitely be decluttered and just consolidate everything. So I really don't want to spend a whole lot of time decluttering this pantry. I have been just overwhelmed <laughs> just thinking about tackling this cabinet here. And I don't know. And it's okay, it's okay. So let me just go through it. It shouldn't be really that bad. I'm just thinking in my head, it just seems more, more bigger than what it appears. I'm just gonna go through it with you and then I'll probably speed it up a little bit. We'll see what needs to be thrown out, kept, and what needs to be consolidated. I'm trying to not to go to my sodas. So I've been using these crystal lights. These are really good. So those are a keep for sure. And then really, I'm just gonna go through here and see if any of these have expired. And that's still good. Marsola, if used by September 15th. Still been 222, that's good. That is new, good. <laughs> that's good. This one has expired, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that out. Same thing with that one. This is still good. This is a Tarani caramel syrup. I've only used it once and that was it. <laughs> so it's just taking up space. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that too. Rice vinegar. I've only used this like once. Ah, I'm gonna go ahead and toss that too. I think I bought that because I really wanted to start making my own Chinese food instead of always taking takeout, but <laughs> I just never got around to it. This one was October of last year, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And this one will probably, let's see. I can't find the expiration date, so when in doubt, I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this one. This is pure sesame oil. I have two of them, that's crazy. Look at that, I'm already tossing things out like madness, man. That one's still good. I have a new Tabasco sauce. This one is still good till 2022. These are just my extras, 2022. Oh, this is a brand new one. Here's my mayo, that's okay. Pancake mix, that's good. Oh, that could be tossed out. We like to snack on cashews and pistachios, anything really nuts. I'm just trying to zip through these as quickly as I can, 21. January 2023. Those have long shelf dates. <coughs> wow. 
toss out. These have just recently somewhat expired. This one I'm just never going to use again. So, so far so good. Here is what I have far as canned goods. Goes all the way in the back. I only have one cream of chicken way in the back. So I need to stock up on my cream of mushroom. I always like to have cream of mushroom on hand and cream of uh, French onion and cream of chicken. And I don't, I'm out. So I need to add that to the list. Another reason why to declutter your pantry. Have one jar of the garlic stuffed olives. Love those. Back here I have my salad toppings, which are all new. I'm trying to get back into salads i've been keeping this isn't he cute totally love baby yoda but anyways off topic i need to put that where i'm gonna actually enjoy some our candy jar i already recently went through this one um just the other week queen g likes to have a little sweet tooth every now and then is yeah i need to enjoy those chocolate and it's way back there so i'm forgetting about it i want to actually keep this out on the counter back here i have some almonds which I can toss out. These have been in there for a while. I got pickles which goes in the sandwich section. Pancake mix, oatmeal, packaged oatmeal over here which I have grape nuts which is almost out. These are pinions, kind of goes with the nuts with the snacks. That goes over there. My cereal. This one could be tossed out. This is smoked salmon, each filet, but it's, look at that, it's good until the 2024. Wow. So that goes actually up here where I keep my canned meat if I have like spam or sardines, something like that. I like to keep rice aroni up there. These are new. These are my crackers. Oh, here's another rice, that other side that goes up there. My other crackers, those are all fine. I'm just going to place those back there. These are my mom's fig newtons. And then I have my oatmeal and rice, which are fine. But I can just now place the rest of this in there since mom and I had some oatmeal the other morning. Let me put the remaining of the oatmeal oats in here. And then I can get rid of this. Okay, that's all filled up now. Fig newtons up there. Cereal there. I place the pistachios in here. Just gonna leave that one there since it's in a zip locker type of bag. But look, look at all this space. Wow. All right. Making good progress. I keep my vinegar in here. My olive oil and oil. Just got this. These ones have been in here for a while, including these. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss those out. Let's check these. That one's still good. And then this one is never open, but it just expired June of 2021. So I'm going to use this to clean, like with vinegar and Dawn dish soap. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, brown sugar, brown sugar, all of those are pretty much brand new. My non-fat dry milk. I use this for making fry bread. This one is good until July of 2022 <laughs> so that's good this is cake good until 2022 these are good actually that could be with what the other nuts are so that's good Ooh. these I just got all well, to 2022 see this is baking powder which actually this doesn't really belong in here that should go up in in the cabinet above on the cupboard till December of 2021 so that's still good all right that one's brand new this one is new jello this is still good until April 2023 that should go in with this one Queen G my mom has been talking about jello lately we should make that for her powdered sugar is expired now so I can toss that but now there's hardly anything in this one here just bought at the uh, grocery store this is still good the panko and this one I just opened these are good I go 
to our overage storage and then um, fill those up. This is bluebird flower, halfway. I think I have a bag down there. We'll get to that later. This one is dried corn. I haven't used this. I've had this for over three years or four years. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. This is just taking up space. I thought I was gonna like make some type of corn stew and I just never did. These are pinto beans I have stored here. These are the macaroni elbows. And then these are odds and ends of open pasta that I need to finish. Extra rice that cannot fit in my canister at the moment. Let me go through these real quick. Oh my gosh, I found a dry pasta in there. Some of these expired and then some of them I just I'm not interested in cooking them or using them so I'm gonna go ahead and then toss these out that looks way better you guys way better and look now I have more space to fill up more pasta in there from our overage got rid of a lot of the already prepared mix packages and all the other stuff so I got Plenty of room in the bins now. Yeah, now I have more space. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that's going on in here, I'm not gonna lie, for sure. Uh, but this is like where we keep our Reynolds and plastic bags, storage bags. I like to keep these for my gardening. This is what I'll harvest because I share with my neighbor fam next door. It just makes it easier. Are used quite often. I don't think I'm going to be getting rid of anything in here because we use it all that's why it looks like so crazy messy right now but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the time take everything out just kind of make sure i have a good inventory put like items together and then we'll see from there so basically folks this is going to be the before so this is the after so the only thing I found to declutter in this shelf is an empty Glad zipper bag. That's it. But hey, it counts. This bag, I placed all of the plasticware, like knives, forks, spoons, stuff like that. These you could always use. <laughs> all right. And then back here, I placed all of the cups right there. My paper plates there and our bowls go right there. Looks better, right? <laughs> Plus I have all of this space right there. Okay, here's the third to the last shelf here. I like to hold our potatoes in there and I have some extra bags that I was keeping for giving out lemons or whatever, but I can probably move that to where my gift bags are. Shouldn't really be in here anyway. Either it was from our beloved dog or this was for Kitty and she doesn't play with it. So I can probably donate that, right? Two tablespoon Pete's coffee tea. Hey, you know what? This would be perfect for my hummingbird feeder bag. I always use two tablespoons to, of the food. So instead of grabbing my other one, I can just easy just use this one. <gasps> okay, so this is gonna be relocated. Cat food here for Kitty. Oh, another cat food. So we have three there. We have some extra food bowls and dishes. I was going to toss out, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and use this for our stray cat, alley cat. You can check out my vlogs about that. It's a neighborhood cat. Keep these. We do have friends who bring their dogs over. We are a pet friendly home here. So I like to keep these on hand just in case for my friends' pets because I'm that kind of friend. I don't know what or what is up with these. Well, you know, I guess I can keep those in case their owners are happy, then I'm happy. Kitties care. This is where I keep all of our garbage bags. It's right here. There. That looks better. These will be relocated. Here I have Hmm. Oh my goodness, I forgot I placed those way in the back. These are old utensils. Uh, these actually can go to our Vegas home for right now. I'm trying to see what we have over there, but definitely could be used over there. It's just like Christmas. It's been about 
40 minutes already. <laughs> but hey, I'm making progress. These, I like to use these for on top of our water dispenser. So I'm gonna place those back up there. All right, so here is the after. I have my potatoes there. I got my popcorn maker in the back and I have all that space. Ooh, this is like our old, old, old single cup. You know, before the Craig ever came out. <laughs> yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of that one. I don't even think it's even worthy of donating. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below on what you think. Donate or throw away cookie boxes. That should go up with my baking stuff or with my gift bags. Maybe my gift bags. That's the only place where it can fit for right now. There we go. All right, that shelf is done. I have my coffee there, my tea there, Craig stuff there, and just space. Here we go at the bottom here pulled out my flour which I think this one can be emptied into the container because the container Tupperware only had half so I think that will fit in there another blue flour electric warmer and I'm not gonna get rid of that this one can actually go underneath that one and this barbecue tray Actually, I don't even think Jay even realizes he has this, so I'm gonna put this with all his barbecue stuff. I had to bust out with a pillow for my knees, so I'm gonna go ahead and have that as a relocated. Oh my goodness, look at all that I decluttered <laughs> from my pantry. Woo wee! That was a lot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to declutter that much from this pantry. But hey, if you want more decluttering motivation, make sure to check out my friends, Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life and Karen at This Mainer's Mom. They're posting more decluttering videos as well. So go make sure you go check out their videos. But yeah, let's take a look. And here is the after. And just look at all the space I have now. <gasps> It looks awesome. Give me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. Ooh, look at all of that. <laughs> wow, that's totally cool. I hope this gave you guys some decluttering motivation for you. Don't get overwhelmed. Just take your time. Breathe in and breathe out. And once you're done, I hope you feel as zen as I do right now. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to click that subscribe button. Until the next one, guys. Very self-satisfying. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs>